generally everyone thinks of takoshubo cardiomyopathy which is also known as stress cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome as a cause of reversible left ventricular dysfunction in response to a major lifetime stress initial reports which caught attention were in elderly women who had lost their spouses and hence the term broken heart syndrome as it involved the apical segments of the left ventricle not conforming to any single vascular territory another eponym was apical ballooning syndrome recent work has questioned the complete reversal of cardiac pathology in this condition though left ventricular ejection fraction rapidly returns to normal they have noted long term mortality comparable to that of myocardial infarction please subscribe to this channel for future updates click on the subscribe button press the bell icon after that for all updates kali and colleagues studied the long term functional and metabolic changes after stress cardiomyopathy 37 of their patients who had stress cardiomyopathy one year or more earlier completed the minnesota living with heart failure questionnaire they also underwent detailed clinical evaluation biomarker estimation echocardiography cardiac magnetic resonance imaging and phosphorus 31 magnetic resonance spectroscopy they demonstrated long lasting symptomatic and functional impairment in cardiac status after takoshiba cardiomyopathy even though left ventricular ejection fraction improved this would suggest persistent long term subclinical cardiac dysfunction pelicia and associates studied the predictors of long term prognosis in a meta analysis they included 54 studies with a total of 4679 patients of which 477 were females and 602 were males they found that older age presence of a physical stressor and atypical ballooning were the predictors of unfavorable long term outcome there were 104 recurrences indicating an annual recurrence rate of 1% annual mortality rate was 3.5% of the 4567 patients who survived the index admission 103 died of cardiac causes and 351 died of non cardiac causes over a mean follow up period of 28 months there were 112 deaths that is 2.4% during admission prognosis was poorer in secondary takoshiba cardiomyopathy with a physical stressor compared to primary takoshiba cardiomyopathy with an emotional stressor here are the important references for the topic some more references are here please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you